Hello community! Tom's guide tells us that ChatGPT can summarize an external article? I don't think so, and you know why? Let's have here a look. Here we have a page from Hugging Face. This is a simple HTML. Fine tune a pre trained model. Beautiful. So we take here now this link and we say, Hey, ChatGPT, can you really summarize an external source? Tutorial how to train a transformer using the PyTorch training API providing the Hugging Face library. Step by step, preparing, creating, setting up the trainer, starting the training loop. Different components of PyTorch trainer optimize the learning rate, early stopping. Save load, yes, to a comprehensive cut, how to use a trained transformer model for NLP task. This is true, but does he really understand what he is doing? So, let's have here a look. And we say here. And now I just give him a headline and not anymore the link. So let's see what he comes up with. Certainly, here's an example code for training a transformer model using the PyTorch trainer API provided by the Hugging Face library. Wow. So, BERT tokenizer, BERT for sequence classification, training arguments, trainer, the data set, load the data set, tokenizer, yes, prepare the model. Bird for sequence classification, bird base okay, looks good. Then we have the training arguments here. First glance, okay, the trainer, yeah, we set up the model, the arguments, the training data set, the evaluation data set. Yeah, number of epochs is here in the argumentation, beautiful. And then we say trainer.train. So this looks first glance, okay. And as you see here, train with PyTorch trainer, is a complete different code sequence because it says here from transformer auto model for sequence classification and then we have an auto model for the sequence classification the number of labels 5 on bird base cased and here we have where are we bird base uncased and we do not limit ourselves in this example here to five classes so interesting really interesting but the code itself looks not bad at all. So the question is now, does he really understand what there is? So Keras introduction, yeah, this is stuff, yes. Looking for something particular. Loading data, maybe we take this here. Can you provide code for? So let's see. The TensorFlow data data set code is for the optimization of CPU and GPU. So what he comes up with. Okay, there's a shuffle, yes. So I have to read this from the very beginning. Tokenizer pre-trained, yes. Pre-process function, yes, it's okay. Input, yes, yes, yes. Load the data set, if data experimental, yes, yeah, experimental your data. I mean, as an idea how you could structure this looks not at all bad. I have to read this in detail, but okay, okay. But if you check back, if is this really what here in the text is, it's you see no, because here you have here the data set map token as data set. Model prepare TF data set batch size suffer compile. So I suppose he's somehow mixing up now what he knows about a TensorFlow a data data set command that he knows this from his pre training and fine tuning, but not here from this. So what we have to do next step, we look at something that is brand new February 1st, 2023. From Google Research here, a blog about Flan Collection, Advancing Open Source Methods for Instruction Theory. So let's tell him, hey, and we give him also the link because he needs, of course, some information that is not available in his pre-trained data set.
Structure and tuning, deep learning loads, the benchmark work rate of the research, yeah. GPU and TPU, yes, yes uh, I can't read this so fast. Sequence instruction, yeah, I don't flank cover as a standard deep learning workload, I will it. Very general, very general. So, it's a part of a by Google to advance state of the art by making these tools available to the This is very general. So, we are, we want to know. We want to know. Chain of thought prompting. Was chain of thought prompting available before 2022? I think so. So what can we look for? Now, now we are mean. Now I'm interested. So we say, okay, what is the information yeah, in? And now we give him HTTPS. Okay, okay, yeah. Okay, if you want to play with me, let's play. I searched the article again and can confirm there's no mention of sub or any terms in the article. Part the information, different source. So, you see? Hmm. <laughs> Is he really scanning the article? Is this really knowledge he pretends to have read? Ah, ha ha. How can we find this? Is the first worst to... So we take here 2022. Okay. Now, now comes the point. No. No. Because I asked him, can you summarize the information about FLAN 2022 to publicly demonstrate from? There's no FLAN paper related to the FLAN collection. The impact took place November 24. And here we have September 26. So Heaven's sake, what is true and what is imagination? Why is it so difficult to judge? There is something, yeah, it is about a planetary defense. Yes, it is about the redirection test. Yes, but heaven's sake, heaven's sake. Okay, I tell you something. I think that there is because there is something here in the link that gives away what it is we will use here something without any information about it so this now is the last text so now he has no information what it is about The article, a fast and scary course of loss, yeah. So, no, not at all. Not at all. Because we know it is about blip. It is a vision language pre-training. So, final verdict. You have to be extremely careful. Because even from the HTTPS link, as you can see, NASA Dart Mission Asteroid, he gets some information. And I mean, he was so close, so close, November 24. So it knows that here, ChatGPT has no connectivity to the internet. So unlike, uh, I think, Bing, Chat, AI, or information sources like u.com, Chat, or Perplexity, they do have this internet source where they can check for actual data. It looks like that ChatGPT currently is not in a position to provide this information. And now we connect to u.com, the chat engine, and let's see what results we get from u.com. So you see u.com now just altered the orbit for box approximately 32 minutes. Beautiful. And this is here the chat version already. And you see he gives you here. October 2022, September 2022, another September 26. 
Hey, there's 10 minutes. There's 10 minutes. My goodness, where are the 10 minutes coming from? But there was... Here, look. Here we have now the source. 10 minutes. Where's this 10 minutes? Here. Expected the impact to shorten about 1% of 10 minutes, precisely measuring how much it was deflected, is one of the primary purposes for this full-scale test. So this 10 minutes was before 2022. This was the assumption. This is what researchers expected. Ah, oh, oh, you are cunning. You are cunning. Oh, I love it. So, but you see, with you chat, you.com chat, you get here an answer that is really connected to the internet and can give you the real answer. Interesting, fascinating. Tell me what you think about it.